Ryan is one from one. Silks as they move forward. For the Lanwade stud and Nell Gwyn Stakes, we're still waiting for True Sion to come forward in those KHK racing colours that will be carried, hopefully, with distinction by Van Dijk this season, one of last season's best juveniles. The George Strawbridge colours, that is Kieran Schumark on spiritual, trained by John Gosden. Last one forward for the Nell Gwyn, the Phillies trial for the 1,000 guineas. Here's Alex Fussy. Bye. They're off. Racing away in the Group 3, Landway stud Nell Gwynn over seven furlongs. Excellent start made by Lexington Bell. The light blue bounding on forwards. Matrika also got a good beginning. Pretty Chris is not too far away. Couple of them sticking more to the left far side. They are Lexington Bell over there from Kathmandu. Mantrika leading the larger group to the near. Shows up there from Pretty Crystal and Gushing Gold. Dance sequence is just in behind the pace. Is racing in about a fourth or fifth on this near side with Born to Rock. Then True Cyan, Heritage House at the back of the field and Spiritual also covered up in rear. So Lexington Bell leading them inside the final half mile over on the far side from Kathmandu. Matrika down the centre to near side showing up from Pretty Crystal and Gushing Gold. True Cyan is now between between groups and trying to improve. Dance sequence will just be looking for a bit of a gap. He's a bit stuck in a pocket. Born to Rock tries to improve. Then Heritage House and Spiritual still at the back of the field. Heading inside the final two furlongs. Kathmandu away to the left and swoop through to lead. Shows up here from Pretty Crystal. Now Dance Sequence is in the clear. Here she comes trying to reel them back. Inside the furlong. Kathmandu shows up. Here's Pretty Crystal. Now Dance Sequence is letting loose. Tries to get to Pretty Crystal. Dance Sequence getting close. Pretty Crystal finds more. Has won the Nell Gwyn. Sees off Dance Sequence. Then Kathmandu. Next wave. Heritage House also there. Born to Rock on the far side. Another involved with True Cyan. Oh, what a tough little filly she is. Pretty Crystal has won the daughter of Dubawi for Ashinor and Richard Fahi, and she's beaten Dance Sequence. Watched the run through again. Dance Sequence didn't get the clearest of openings when William Buick first wanted it, but you fancy she was in the clear in time, and Pristal, Pretty Crystal has, has stuck her bonny little chestnut neck down and won 18 to 1 here. Kathmandu's run a stormer. Might not have been a bad buy last night at the sales. She's really uh, enhanced that pedigree yet further. But Pretty Crystal it is that has won this race. She had some good two-year-old form, good solid two-year-old form, and she's run every bit up to that and a bit more today. She was so tough, wasn't she? Mm. Dan Sequence was right at her all the way through the final 100 yards at least, maybe a little bit more. All um, over the difference in size. Yeah, absolutely. It looked like Dan Sequence was coming to swamp her, but every time she got to her, Pretty Crystal just pulled out that extra little bit more. So she's got a fantastic at attitude and she's done everything right, really. Sat in uh, just in behind the pace, travelled really well. And she quickened downhill when Ashino went for her and then she's really picked up again as she was challenged. Um, dance sequence is a good prospect. This doesn't change that. A narrow defeat, it's not going to do her, her any harm. Um, she was second favourite for a guineas, around 5-1 to one coming into this race. So she'll probably drift out from that price but I'd say her overall potential is still intact she might have been a slightly unfortunate loser on the day the more prominently ridden rival has won and she's probably screaming out for a mile as well um, dance sequence whereas Pretty Crystal is just that little bit sharper and quicker and probably more of a natural seven furlong filly so I wouldn't be um, too negative by dance sequences run for all that she's been turned over and Kathmandu has run a blinder uh, just tiring inside that final 100 yards but she laid it down to them yeah a 1-2 for Dubawi that's a fantastic run from Kathmandu on what's been a great day for Brian